What's up guys, bringing the bacon here with Nate and not Tristan today, but that's because of coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus. Anyway, due to the quarantine situation and the fact that we don't want to spread anything, I got the old wife, not that she's old, O-L-E, you have you, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sit up so straight. Anyway, but today, uh, on this upload, we have what I like to call the last crate. And by last crate, it means this. Snack crate. We are not doing them anymore after this episode. We are switching over to a different brand to kind of give you an idea about the other options about universal, universal snacks. There are out there, and which packages you can use to get them. Um, this, the next one's gonna be Universal Yums, and that's about all I know about it. I, I feel like it's cheaper though than this, but you don't get a drink with it. But <sighs> okay, but anyway, this is March. Yeah, March is box. I got it just a few days ago, and like I said before, that sometimes it can take almost a month to get them, especially with the COVID-19 epidemic, pandemic, whatever it is that's out there. So I'll go ahead and get this open, and we'll see what country it's in. Please tell me it's not China. <laughs> if it's China, this is going to be a real short video. Because I'm just going to scream karate and walk off. Here it goes. It is Greece. Greece, nowhere near China, so we're relieved. We can get on with the video now. These snacks are expired. And it says, just kidding, they aren't. Oh. Um, you can see that. There. Yeah. She got worried about it. I would uh, be bad food for me. It says, but you might think that if you don't pay close attention to the date format. So they use a different date format than we do. Boy, they use 1999 for the year. No, that's an example. Oh. Uh, they <laughs> Scary use... said, we're way out of date. <laughs> we're going to catch a virus. we going to catch it other than a virus botulism or something like that. If you eat that long and stuff. No, that's just an example. Uh, instead of the month. First, they put the date, okay. which is every other country but the U.S. that does that. And, of course, as usual, you get your little book that tells you in and each what snack is and little fun facts about Greece or the month of that, or that, the box of that month, and all that other good stuff. You know. But we like to go on a whim, or at least me and Tristan do. She's new to this. Go on, I like to go on a whim, see what everything is. They left off my stickers. I usually put a pack of stickers in there. That's fine. Okay. We have, starting off with, me, whatever that word is, oregano. So I'm assuming they're going to taste herby. And I've said before that they are in the, the language native to their country. So nine times out of ten, they're not going to be in English. <sighs> so you think it means herby? I don't think it means herby, maybe posse. We're in Greece, so they eat stuff like that. We eat it the gondolier up in London. Mm, okay. They're, they're Greece, and, Greece and Italian are almost the same. The gyros that you can get at Arby's. Gyros that some people call them. Gyros. Let's go ahead and open this too. Right now. Ladies first. Thank you. Oh, they do smell herby. Yeah. Ooh. But good though. Like a little hint of herb, it's like an olive oil and herb mixture. Mm. Give me that one. Let me see.
Yeah, yeah. there's like something I've ate before. The home fries that I make. Just mm. a little bit different, not as garlicky. I put a lot more garlic in there. I think they almost taste like the garlic knots we ate for supper tonight. Pretzels? Pretzels? I, they look like normal pretzels. Why not? Lay out last time I got normal pretzels, they would not look normal pretzels at all. Let's see. Just okay, since these don't have salt on them, they do have some, but they've also got sesame seeds. Oh, sesame seeds. That's different. Mm -hmm. But, for, I mean, for people that mm. can't intake a lot of sodium, these are pretty good. How soft or chewed do yeah. you chew? Maybe they don't put as much baking soda on the surface. Because that's how they do that. It's baking soda and something else and they put it on the surface. It causes it to brown up like it does. These are very good. Mm -hmm. You want something with sodium? These are very good. And you can get on the website and type in a certain box and get snacks from that country. Oh, it says energy and fat. Energy would probably which be easy saturates. So it does have some English on the back of it. Some. All right. Ooh. Mini breadsticks. Mm. Uh, Basil pesto. Flavor. They must like herbs that are in Greece. Yeah, yeah. They do like herbs. You ever study any, well, not, maybe not study, but just kind of explore Greek foods? They eat a lot of herbs. I don't explore any foods. Yeah, I know. As broad as I get. Yeah, I've had to introduce her to many, many different kinds of foods. Mm -hmm. Other than American. <sighs> Can't get it over. Anybody else make some, make some Mexican food? I'm just asking. Yeah, she's going to be slurping it out of the straw. The cheese dip. Ooh, he's kind of... Yeah, those kind of have a weird smell. I'm just saying... I'm not sure I can put them in my mouth. <laughs> they just kind of look like a little bitty pocket of green and brown. Oh, he had a garlic. I think I've just been to a club. No, I went a club. That was good. Those are pretty good. If but, you can get over the smell. Yeah, the smell. Those are really good. Well, I mean, it's not even bad enough. You have to hold your nose while you eat it. You have to be a garlic fan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> mm. It does kind of have an old aftertaste, though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Old bread I, aftertaste. My penis. Hmm. I'm just saying. When's the expiration date on these? <laughs> Where is the expiration date on these? Probably Greece. Probably can't be. Uh, they put the day first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. First day of the 12th month, 20. So they don't expire until December 20. But their FDA laws are a lot mm. different than ours. Well, they don't have the FDA, so they may be. Ooh, sour cream and onion. onion. Sour cream, cream and onion. onion. Oh, mini. Hit cracker, so it's kind of like a sour cream and onion cheese it to be, to be honest. It's or, not just flavor with O R. It's got O U R. Let me just tell you. Every country but ours spells it like that. That's just like doing the, something wrong here. That's like the word colors. Most most countries put the U after the O in colors. C O L O U R S. Anyway, let's just open these. The simpler is better. But yeah, they are cheeses, essentially. If I get one. Whoa, that's strong. That's what you get. A little cheese. It. Whoa. Woo. Okay. I don't I'm like not sour. a sour cream fan. I love sour cream, and that's a little weird. That's a lot of sour cream. Yeah. It's extra sour. Like it, it, it's like a boom with the sour, and then it's a mellow after that. You need cleaned out nose hairs? Nasal. You <laughs> nose hairs. There you go. And I'm definitely leaving that one in.
I don't know what I turned on the last box. Alright, I guess we're getting into desserts now. I think I'll start off with something simple. Like biscuits. Ooh, biscuits. And biscuits as in terms of <clears throat> English biscuits, which is basically cookies, like animal crackers and stuff. I like animal crackers. Mama three. I like animal crackers. Smells good. It smells like uh, coconut. Ge coconut or gingerbread. Coconut. Fruity. Those are good. It's, it's not a strong flavor. It's like a background hint. Mm. It's a background it hint. It almost tastes like a shortbread. Those shortbreads yeah. that you get during Christmas in the tin boxes, the blue tin box. The one that, that I love. The one that doesn't actually have Grandma Sewing Kid in it. Um, they're good. Yeah, they are good. If, and if they have her stamp of approval, they're good. Never mind. Hashtag picky eater. You have it. I'm not big on shortbread. I'm not a picky eater. These are strawberry shortbread Ooh. cookies. You might have my alley. Strawberry and shortbread. So let's uh, get into these. And they have a nice little full tab that just allows you to open it right up like a pack of gum. Thick stack too. Whoa! Double stuffed Oreo. <laughs> That's a thick cookie. <laughs> Double stuffed Oreo with strawberry. And it says something on it. Great. Not sure. It's it great. Mm. Oh, that strawberry smell. Mm -hmm. I know what it tastes like. Mm hmm Those little wafers. Mm hmm a Little strawberry flavored wafer. With yeah. more hint of strawberry. Mm -hmm. More real strawberry. It was like a punch of strawberry in there. Good. It's delicious. I don't think we'll share these. She's gonna have to get to them first. Well, she'll have to go through me. He thinks he's the boss. He's not the boss. Ooh, good timing. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Those were some good cookies. Yeah, those were some good cookies. Okay, right. next on the list, uh, this is probably something we're not going to have to share with the kids because it's only one croissant, and that is this. It is a chocolate stuffed croissant, and I think if you all remember back, we had another one of these on, it was something like it, um, on one of the past boxes. She didn't get to try it when it was first open, and it didn't didn't tire out too well, so we'll see how this one goes. Because it wasn't too good when I tasted it either. So what it's looking like? They eat a lot of sweets. They eat sweets and herbs. Well, you got tzatziki sauce. That's uh, basically whipped uh, Greek yogurt and cucumbers and dill. Can I touch just some sauce that I will eat? Yeah. She don't, she don't eat a good. lot of sauce. Sour cream, ranch. No. Alfredo sauce. I can't eat Alfredo. I love it. She oh. doesn't like Alfredo. Unless I'm not it's the only one in the world. Unless it's homemade by her. And then I'm very picky about She'll it. She'll eat a little bit and that's it. Okay. I'm going to tear this in half. And like I said, it is stuffed with a round of chocolate. It's like a chocolate filled donut. Yeah. Or one of them cream ones. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, it needed more chocolate though. No. But it may have leaked through if they done that. Alright. See, one croissant doesn't last long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, so, see, I told you I think they gave me more chocolate. Okay. 
this looks like some kind of white chocolate vanilla. So, and she's a big fan of white chocolate and vanilla. I'm not that big on either, so. I've never really had them together. Oh, okay. Well, white chocolate is actually vanilla. It's not actually chocolate. There is no chocolate in white chocolate. Most people don't know that. I know one thing. They wrap their, they make their packages tough in there. <clears throat> kid proof. They make them kid proof. They make them adult. Oh, I can already tell. I don't like the texture of this. What is this? It feels like a sand block. Okay, like a it, takes, uh, it, it has the texture of moon sand. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, kinetic sand. It's like a, it's like the wafer candy. It tastes just like the wafer candy. It's in here. The, the little black, or the... The clear package with the black straps mm -hmm. on it that you get at Halloween. That's usually the toss aside candy, but I actually love it. But it melts in your mouth like cotton candy. It does. And it has a peanut butter to taste it, too. Yeah. It's weird. Because it doesn't show any peanut butter on the package whatsoever. But I'm having a really hard time eating it. Because that first initial texture. Yeah, that first initial texture feels like really hard time. That first texture, it feels like you're putting in sand in your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah. It, 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 I mean, <laughs> it's not. I can't. Okay, we'll do this wafer next. Woo. It is a chocolate wafer. No telling what the wafer is made of. It looks like normal wafer, but you never know. It's got something crunchy on the top. Yeah, it looks like Rice Krispies, like you would see in a crunch bar. Which also I am not a fan of. Go ahead and criticize me. I don't care. Not a fan of crunch bar. Whole pieces of hazelnut. That's the crunchy stuff. It's hazelnuts. Yeah. So if you're allergic to nuts, this is not for you. That's just plain and simple. <laughs> okay. There's one thing I'm kind of nervous about, so I think I'll put it to last. It's really good, but I don't think that I'd go to the store and buy a bunch of them. Buy that first. You would yeah. see those strawberry cookies. That yes. We yes, those cookies. Uh, all right. They eat a lot of sweets over there. So, I want to know their secret on staying skinny when they eating that many sweets. Anyway, this is a bittersweet chocolate bar. It says that on the side. Oh, bittersweet? Yes, bittersweet. So it says that on the side. I don't think I've ever had bittersweet. But, uh, we'll see how this goes. Just kind of in little breakable pieces. That, just like a Hershey bar. It's in between a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. I get what they call it bittersweet now. like a rich chocolate that you would buy to melt. Yeah, yeah. To cover things with. To, uh, it's almost tart in a way. I'll do that for last. Except for the drink. The drink's always last. I'm not so sure. I can do the rest of that now. Yeah, I'll do it. We're married, so. I don't know. It's kind of later than that. But I'm a really, really big fan of dark chocolate. She's not. She doesn't really like it. I gotta work my way up to it. <laughs> gotta work my way up to it. <laughs> I can't do it. Let's start at milk. <laughs> we have to start at milk chocolate. And then we go to my sweet. <laughs> then we gotta go to white chocolate for some reason. And then down to dark chocolate. Okay. Now, oh, I forgot to show you all this. This is a 
caramel marshmallow chocolate nut bar that if anybody remembers them, I think they're called star clusters now. Mm -hmm. Do they usually call something else? Goo Goo clusters. There was Goo Goo clusters. I remember eating them in the 90s when I was growing up. And I it's say like, it like we're so old. Yeah, I'm, I'm 27. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't know how old you are. You old. <laughs> we old. <laughs> the older people watching this, like, shut up. Anyway. And, oh no, it's coconut. Coconut, mm -hmm. caramel, and chocolate, and nuts. Right up my alley. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That came out of nowhere. That's not coconut, though. I don't know what that is. But it's like a... That's coconut. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is coconut in it, but I'm talking about like... Okay. You know those taste that you don't taste the, the smell at all, but the smell is there while you're eating it. Is your eyes watering? <laughs> is your eyes watering in it? No, why? It just packs such a punch for such a small <laughs> She's gotten taken down by the candy bar. Okay, now I'm going to read on this one. I can get taken down by a piece of salt. For all you that know that <laughs> backstory, you got to remember these people do not watch this, Salta. Watch it. Backstory is she got choked on a piece of salt one day. And he just sit there and he, he wasn't even going to say it no lie. He was just sitting there like. Well. And I'm like over here. <laughs> I figure if, if a piece of salt can block your airway, we got bigger problems. It went down the wrong way. And it was bombing. We've all, we've all so had salt bad. Get, get stuck on the like the not like the dry head. spot on your tongue. Not like that either. In, the, in your throat or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was traumatic. Now, it was on, traumatic. On and a, they make fun of me. On a serious note, I'm looking through this to make sure there's no actual pumpkin or pumpkin spice, maybe. Because we found out she is definitely allergic to something to do with pumpkin and pumpkin spice. If you've ever watched Hitch, just imagine me. Just like yeah, that. the movie Hitch with Will Smith. This, this is a soft nougat where there's no chocolate on it whatsoever. So the nougat that you would normally get in a candy bar is just this bar. With fruits and nuts and cinnamon in it. Cinnamon in it, cinnamon in it, cinnamon in it. <clears throat> that last one threw me. <laughs> Back the punch. Oh, this is sticky with the marshmallow. Oh, I don't like candy like this. The stuff that sticks in your throat, it's good for me. See, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's got all these little chunks of flavors and stuff it, in it. It's, it's like a sticky with a marshmallow. Like a marshmallow, cream marshmallow type thing. Okay. Circus pants with nuts in it. Really weird aftertaste. I was just saying. Yeah. Ooh. The more I chew, the more I smell my grandparents' house. That literally tastes. That literally tastes like I feel like. What? Well, <laughs> feel like I've been betrayed. I feel like I've been betrayed too, but it also feels. It tastes like a, you know, that hot, a hot maple toddy uh, essential oil or uh, oil diffuser thing. The hot maple toddy, the air freshener, candle melt. Yeah. That's what I feel like it would taste like if you ate it. Yeah, not doing that one again. Kids can have that one. Okay. That tastes like. I don't know. Grape soda. I'm assuming. Because that's what it looks like. Or maybe even grape juice. You're going to need a drink after that one. Because it doesn't look too fizzy. 
Doing it like a fizzle. What was it called? Sour cherry drink. That's a cherry? Yeah, that's a cherry. Like it's on the fall one? Yeah, I mean, it looks like grape juice, but it says sour cherry on it. What's wrong with these people? I don't know, but I definitely could not live off their sweets over there, so I'd lose all kinds of weight. Maybe they're not eating these sweets. Yeah, they're sending them over here. <laughs> Unless they're now, always... some of them were really good. Well, that didn't work like it was supposed to. It didn't separate. Maybe they didn't let chewed tobacco and your grandparents. Yeah. It it, it it smells like the spit. The spit? Like the after they've chewed and spit it all out. I don't think it beats that strong. It honestly smells like a grape wine to me. Or a cherry wine. I'm just gonna tell you. <coughs> you owe me. I do owe you. <laughs> I mean you married me. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to keep that up. Cheers. I don't think it's too cheery. <laughs> well, it's cherry, not cheery. I haven't even taken a drink because I wanted to see your reaction. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's cough syrup. They've sent us some good cough syrup for this coronavirus, is what this is. <laughs> I can't oh. read that from it. It's all one. And the aftertaste? Drink. It goes up your nostrils. <laughs> I guess I need to take a drink then. Yeah, I can definitely smell the medicine. Like, smell like it would have medicine in it. Go ahead. <clears throat> Very tart. But tart ain't the word. It does not taste like cherries. <laughs> tart is not the word. You wanna know what it tastes like? Carbonated prune juice. I don't like prune. Carbonated prune juice because I've I've drank some before with my granny when I was younger had some. And I wanted to try it, she wouldn't try some. Uh I gotta get something else. <laughs> She's gotta go back to the <laughs> the olive oil chips or whatever they are. Oh, that's so much better. No. I mean, I don't know what you could Would use Would you be for offended them. if I liked it? It wouldn't offend me at all because you could drink it and I just wouldn't have to feel obligated to finish it. It wouldn't go to waste. I guess I'll drink it then because I actually... The smell. Did you spit in it? No. Okay. No, I was a lady and I swallowed it. Wow, that's getting really cold too. He's lost his mind. Mm, he says not. it's cooking me, but well. So let's pick out our favorites in the regular food department, not the sweets, because there's so many of them. Um, I want to say my favorite. My favorite would probably be these chips. Mm, I don't really like. But, but I don't really like these. But you are a big bread fan. I am. That's my problem. But these are really good. These are really good, and there's a lot that comes in a package. I want to say at least forty. It's a, it's a small pack of mini pr uh, pretzel sticks. And they're, I mean, they're a good size. They're a good size. Okay, I got really short, like, thin, stubby fingers. Never be able to play a piano. But. Anyway. I remember they got sesame seeds. Not, not so salt. Yummy. Not a lot. 
I mean, there might be some salt, but there's not There much. is some. There's like two or three flakes of salt. Um, as far as my favorite, I think I like these. Um, those sour cream and onion cheese, it's, they just kind of look. But I, oh, like I don't think, it says sour cream and onion, but I almost like chive is what I want to say. Like, not just like, because chives and onions What's are that? different. Yeah. Uh, well, onions are not good at the that. And these, <clears throat> this has like the little green specks on it. Well, honey, onions might grow different. Um, as far as desserts, I think me and her can both agree Them are good. that these are our favorites. Uh, but sadly, I didn't get a second one. No. I'm really proud of that. I, I uh, decided okay. to save it for my kids. One a piece. Because they came five in a pack. Which, five in a pack is pretty good for what it is. Alright. I think uh, that's pretty much got it. Um, if you like content like this, whether it's Tristan or she's filling in, um, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like it, share it. Everybody you know. Because that's how we get out there. And that's what's going to make us make more content. So, maybe next time we can show, uh, share the salt video. There ain't no salt video. I'll have to share a story of the, yeah, the salt. Nobody thought about pulling the camera out. No, everybody just sit and laughed while I was dying. I don't think they were laughing at her. They were <laughs> laughing at my reaction. <laughs> I just did this all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, I just remember that this, you may like it, but it's not what it seems. No, it's it, not like it has a floral aftertone that just punches you. I just don't know about it. No. I just really don't. What was this? We liked that, didn't we? Yeah. This. I just really... I did not like this. No, I, I didn't either. Like, the more I chewed it, the more I felt like I was eating my grandma's perfume. I know what, I know what it's like. You know, the, like the overlays when you have a, like a potluck dinner, they'll bring this marshmallow stuff and, and you don't know what's in it, but you get a little bit of it because you don't want to have anybody steal it's, it. It's almost like a fruitcake marshmallow form. Yeah, you don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, you could be eating false teeth, you could be eating anything. <laughs> and you get a little bit of it because you don't want to have anybody steal it, but it's just like, yeah, it's good. It's good, Aunt Judy, it's good. No. We don't have an Aunt Judy. That's what I said. We're, we're, we're apologizing <laughs> for anybody that does have an Aunt Judith out there. That, well, it's not a very popular name. Or if your name is Judith, and you're an aunt. <laughs> it's not a very popular name, so that's why I chose it. No, they usually shorten it to Judy, honey. That's why I said Judith. Um, but like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace. God bless. Love y'all. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>